our story opens in Jerusalem. It is crowded with people who are gathered to celebrate the feast of the Passover. Women, children, fishermen, the poor, Pharisees and the handicapped, and of course, whenever there is a crowd, the Roman soldiers are present. I wonder where Jesus is. It's not like him to be late. Don't worry, he'll be here soon. I think I can see him. Master, Master, we're here. was not happy with the way Jesus was behaving. He wanted a fighting king, not a man of peace, so he decided to go and see Caiaphas, the high priest. We need to do something about this Jesus. Yes, he's a real troublemaker. Easier said than done. We don't want to inflame the people. Who are you? What do you want? If I help you capture Jesus, what will you give me? Thirty pieces of silver seems fair price to us.
Jesus and his disciples were all gathered together to celebrate the first day of the Passover. They were eating a meal of lamb and unleavened bread. Tonight, one of you will betray me. You don't mean me, do you? I'll never do anything to hurt you. It's not me, it's not me. I say again, one of you will betray me. Surely you didn't mean me. So you say. Now do what you must. Where's Judas going? We haven't finished eating yet. Probably to get more supplies. He's in charge of the money. Then Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples. Take and eat. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Then Jesus took the cup, gave thanks to God, and gave it to them. We could all go to the Garden of Gethsemane together. We'll start off together, but all of you will run away and leave me on my own. I'll never leave you, no matter what all the, other, all the others do. Peter, I know that before the cock crows at daybreak, you'll have the 93 times. No, never. I'd rather die. Late in the evening, after they had finished their meal, Jesus and his disciples set off for the Garden of Gethsemane. When they got there, the disciples settled down and Jesus moved away a little. Why, you are sleeping. Wake up. Sorry, Master. We're so tired. It's been a long day. Once again, Jesus moved away to pray. Once again, the disciples fell asleep. Father, if it is possible, 
Please take this cup of suffering away from me. Asleep? Again? Couldn't you just keep watch with me for a little while? This time we will really stay awake. For a third time, Jesus moved away to pray. And again, the disciples fell asleep. Father, if this cup of suffering cannot be taken away from me, your will be done. Get up, let's go. The hour has come. Peace be with you, Master. What have I done? I've betrayed my Lord. What shall I do now? Jesus was taken by the soldiers in the middle of the night to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest. Who is this? Why have you brought him to me? This is the troublemaker. He says he's a king. A king? Impossible. He said he was able to tear down God's temple. And three days later, he would build it up again. Blasphemy! What have you got to say? He won't say anything. Are you the Messiah, the Son of God? It is you who say it. We don't need any more witnesses. We've heard of his blasphemy. What do you think? What shall we do? He is guilty! He will die! Take him to Pontius Pilate, our Roman governor. The cock crowed and Peter remembered what Jesus had said to him. Meanwhile, the Roman soldiers had taken Jesus to be questioned by Pontius Pilate, their Roman governor of province. Are you 
really the king of the Jews? So you say. He has blasphemed. He deserves to die. Don't you hear what they're saying? He's got no answers to our accusation. I can't see he's done anything wrong against Roman rule. But he's rousing the people against you, Romans. You have to do something to stop him. As it is Passover, I can release one prisoner. Shall I free Barabbas the robber or Jesus, who has done no wrong? Barabbas! Free Barabbas! As you wish. But what shall I do with Jesus? Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Help him carry the cross.
was nailed to the cross, and notice was fixed to the cross which said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. The soldiers rolled dice to see who could win his clothes. At noon, the whole country was plunged into darkness. This darkness lasted for three hours. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And Jesus died. Three days later, Mary Magdalene, Mary his mother, and another woman went to the tomb. What they found when they got there completely astonished them. He's alive, he's alive, I can't believe it. His tomb is empty, there's no sign of him. Are you sure? Is it really true? I won't believe it until I see him with my own eyes.